All right, guys, I'm picking up where Justin left off. He had took this side of the motor part. Um, so now I'm going to be taking the, um, which I already have a video of us taking off all the plastics and the thing again, but I'll just do a, a faster time lapse on that because I need to get to the cylinder. And uh, when I get to the cylinder, I'll be taking that off and I'll do a slower time lapse because um, I can kind of speed it up a lot. Um, so make this video not too long. So again, I'll be taking the plastics off the seat, the gas tank, the pipe, and the radiators. And uh, yeah, so back to doing this again. All right, guys, so I cut the time lapse. I couldn't find the puller tool, and then I end up using, um, where'd it go? End up using those to get them off. I don't know where that puller tool went uh, for the springs. And uh, so I went and took all that off. So now I'll be doing this, but I can't really time lapse this. I don't really have a good place to stand at, uh, to put it. So I'm just gonna take off these. And uh, every time I take a part off, I'll go back and um, um, I'll take a video of every time I take off a part, I guess. So I'll take this off of the head and then we'll come back from there. All right, guys, got the head off now. Uh, I'll be taking the uh, RC valve off right there, the power valve. I got to take those little adjustments off and then um, I'll, take, I'll go ahead and take these off as well while I'm at it. All right, guys, so um, I got all the bolts off and I got I took uh, the RC valve and power valve shit off. Uh, the only thing left is this bolt and I don't have the tool to get it. So I'm gonna have Justin stop by somewhere to get one. This 14 millimeter box wrench is what I need. I don't have one. And uh, after that, the cylinder will come right back up. So uh, this video will continue with Justin recording.